Hey, hi there. So in this video, I'm going to share about one of the JavaScript question that I faced recently during one of my front end interview. So let's look into the problem statement. So what was the problem statement? Uh, every time a user resizes their browser window, we want to call a function that will simply log resizing to the console. And also we have to throttle this function call. So let's see how we can do this. So essentially, we have to add one event listener to a window object. And what kind of event listener? It will be a resize. So whenever the window got resized, <coughs> it will call its callback. And there, we will simply right now, we will be consoling <coughs> resize. So let's see if it works. <coughs> Resizing okay so if user want to decide yeah it works so okay for simplicity what i will do i will quickly call one logger function what logger function will do it will it will simply write console it will log console resizing okay so here it is now here we want to call this logger function <coughs> now let's run this and if i resize my window see there is so many call uh, going to this uh, logger function so in a second we are calling it more than 100 times so now the second requirement here was that we should be throttling this uh, logger function and what essentially throttling is so with the help of throttling what we want to achieve here we want to call this logger function first time when user uh, started resizing the window and then we should be waiting for some amount of a time or say delay and after that we want to again call this function and if between those functions if uh, we are calling this logger so it shouldn't be logging uh, anything to the console so instead we should be making one throttle generic function that should take this logger and throttle it and returns the throttle version of it and whenever we wants to we are uh, hitting this throttle function it should not run every time instead it should run first time and after running for the first time it should wait for delay and once the delay is expired then it should again uh, call this logger function so that's being said let's see how we can achieve that <coughs> so make one uh, throttle function throttle function what it will do it will simply take one callback function and a delay so and what it will contain it will have one timer id and this timer id will initially be null and here we will be return a new function so and how this uh, return function will look it will what we want to do we first want to check yeah this function got called for the first time so if it is got called for the first time this timer id must be null so if it is null what we want to do <coughs> we want to call this callback function let's do it and also if timer id is null <coughs> it means uh, we are calling this for the first time so if it is null make the if statement true it will go inside if a statement uh, will execute or callback <coughs> and then what we want to do we want to set this timer id to set interval set timeout sorry so what a set timeout will take set timeout will take a one callback <coughs> and then it will take a delay as an other argument and here what we want to do see so whenever uh, for the first time uh, we are hitting this throttle function so if timer id is null okay cool we are going inside it we are calling our callback and then we are setting one uh, timer uh, set we are setting one set timeout and we are assigning this timer id to whatever the timer id we are getting from the set timeout so once that's done <coughs> so next time whenever we are calling this so it will check okay uh, there is value in timer id so uh, let's not call it and wait for this particular delay so once that delay is expired this set timeout uh, callback will get executed 
and at that point of time what we want to do we want to again make this timer id equals to null so that okay we have waited for uh, this particular delay and now let's make it null again so after uh, this delay this timer id will again be going to be initialized to null so next time whenever we are going to uh, hit this function it will check okay this time timer id is null now uh, we are going to call our callback and we are initializing timer id to whatever the timer id we are getting from the set timeout so this code looks good to me so we have this timer id we have this throttle function okay so now what we want to do we want to uh, throttle this logger function so let's pass this uh, to throttle function and we will say it is T H R O W T throttle logger so we will get we will be calling this throttle logger passing our logger as a callback to this throttle function and delay I am passing 1000 millisecond essentially one second so now what it should do now instead of calling this logger directly what I can do I can call its throttle version of this logger function and it should handle our uh, edge cases so let's see so <clears throat> okay so if I am resizing it for the okay we have some reference error say before initialization we are trying to access logger before initialization so let's put it here cool now see we are just no as soon as i will stop a uh, resizing window it will get stopped so as soon as i've started resizing window we are just no calling it once uh, whenever uh, the user started the resizing and then after every second we are just no uh, calling this logger function so yeah this was the pretty much you no know, simplest form of the throttle version so if you find this interesting do not forget to like the video and uh, subscribe the channel yeah thanks for watching